combat is a small portion of any conflict. Collateral damage, the legacy of destruction in the civilian world, is what conflict accomplishes. And I think in the five years that I covered war prior to doing this Hot Zone project, I never realized that. Because I was parachuting into places, I was covering um, you know, really what we thought was important, you know, the fighting that was going on and some of the resulting uh, civilian tragedy, but not looking at that civilian tragedy under the same kind of prism or with the same kind of uh, thoughtfulness and, and detailed um, exploration that we were using on combat. And that creates uh, this sense of, you know, war as a game with winners and losers. Uh, the fact is, you know, covering conflict 20 consecutively, I began to see the patterns that emerged. And the patterns were very clear that the combat, which may only last, you know, a couple of minutes, a couple of hours, a couple of days, um, that short period of time will create a legacy of destruction for the civilian population that will go on for generations. You know, what we overlook in our reporting of war as well is um, the root cause of war, which is resources. Any conflict that you look at any time in the world, its root cause has been a resource. You know, there are elements of religion and politics that, that, that actually do take root during these conflicts, and, and they end up being a a very prominent feature within the conflicts, but they all start off with resources. I think that um, that my my goal in doing this hot zone project was to make sure that people um, learned a little bit more about what was happening in their world, that they understood, um, you know, that there are a lot of countries, there's a lot of conflicts going on out there that they know nothing about, and then they should because the U.S. has involved them in in some way, shape, or form, militarily, economically, or politically. I think an obstacle with both my book and my documentary and with the Hot Zone Project overall is that, you know, it was looking at, you know, country after country um, and, and the legacy of, of death and destruction. Uh, there's a lot of beautiful things that are going on, beautiful moments within that tragedy that those, those people are, are suffering from. Um, but sometimes it's hard to see that. And sometimes as a reporter, it's hard to make that clear. And as reporters, we have to be very aggressive and very creative in finding ways to tell these stories that um, that bring out the humanity of what we're covering, it, not just the tragedy. Anyone that has been able to witness the things that I've witnessed has a responsibility to share them with the rest of the world and share their conclusions. Not everybody agrees with my conclusions, um, but I think I, I wanted to learn something from this project. I didn't want to just go on this as some kind of adventure journalist trying to stay alive. You know, that's the wrong reason. You know, for me, the idea was at the end of this journey, after all these conflict zones, is there going to be some kind of truth that reveals itself? And there was. And the truth is that we emphasize a part of war that probably is its smallest feature, combat. We de-emphasize the part which is probably its largest feature, which is collateral damage. We have to really reverse the, those things, shift the paradigm, and start looking at war as a legacy of, of civil destruction, you know, not a moment of, of a battle.